Hey, so we're still at the at the show here. We've got another minute or two today to get away. So, um, come to one of the favourite places. I always like. Going we like to this tires, stand. like. Yeah. I so love tires. If you like tires, and you go to JB. We have a mad idea about upgrading the seven eight ten. We think the seven eight ten needs a wee refresh. So we're considering a set of tires for the seven oh, well, eight ten. It has 10, to be so. Michelin's for you, doesn't it? Well, I do like the tyres on the 47.55, but I think the 7810 would need Michelin's. There's a set of tyres sticks out in my mind, so we've come to... Right, come on, we see what we have. We've come to JB Tyres stand, and uh, look at this here. Oh, boy. Forgetting about just what we need. Look at that, boy. Does that bring back good memories or bad ones? Hey. <laughs> After sitting back and watching the, the video we put Aye. up about it, good memories, but at the time it was hard work. That's the fear. She's an, she's an omni bibs, look. Was that you were telling me that's actually like the range below multi bib? We wouldn't have well, much uh, in the multi bib range. I presume that is because they're smaller. Is that the. Aye. Oh, bad, eh? She's a proper fiat. Aye, she's old school fiat fiat. No new Holland blood in that fiat. <laughs> And she's got the right stickers on her. Now we're getting warmer now, guy. Warmer now. Oh. Is it a Mac bib you're after? No. No. Well, Where I don't know. Going? I want either Axio bib or Zeo bib. There's a Zeo bib there. That's the sort of tire I want there. 7, 10, 60, 38. What's on our 7, 8, 10? Uh, she's on... Uh, season 7, 10, 70 is 38. So they won't work. Uh, you're thinking of 42. Maybe she's on 38s. Uh, I'm thinking 7, 10, 60, 42. Maybe upgrade her because we'd have to make same sizes. Size. Same size as the 47. Right. Just Brings her up to that same sort of stance. Okay. We right. need to make sure we get the ratios right. And that's a thing that I think a lot of people forget about uh, with tyres. Yeah, they think yeah. you just throw tyres on. It's just not as simple as that, is it? Oh, yeah. I know. Have you ever seen what is that? James will be mad about that, won't he? Oh, that James, huh? That's only what is that? She's a 4840 and she's 1981. She's 38 years old and she has no turbo chargers in that particular engine. But you can put a twin turbo on it and take it up to about 400 horsepower. And apparently it's about 270 horsepower. Tractordata.com. I have this all Google. You, you <laughs> for... I have this all Google. I believe that's a Commons on that thing, is it? Uh, ah, it couldn't be a Cummins. Has? Hey, some stand here, do you? That's serious. Look, ah. at the, look at the boots and that thing. Here. Those are my fine, this man, see what you're... My, look at... Do you ever see them road bibs? Aye, funny, I've been keeping an eye on them. Watching a couple of boys on social media that's There's running no. them. There's no way. Well, those guys have been running them a good wee while. Uh, right, when we find this James man, uh, see, on, what, we'll see what we're going to do here. That'll do. You know what that James man's like? He'll be talking to somebody. He will be. We'll maybe get him cornered here. Ah, found him. Well, James, how you getting on? Hey, donkey, guy. How's good show. Hi. Good show, great show so far. Um, but the legs near walked off myself. <laughs> <laughs> James, tell you what it is. If, if you have a minute, I want to talk a wee bit about tires about our seven eight ten and uh i don't know what they put on her but she's oh, um, you, you oh. need a set of zeal bibs you think you know you do <laughs> 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 right well have you got any zeal bibs on the stand uh, by chance you know I just happened to have a set. <laughs> it's on a green tractor too. <laughs> hey, this is marketing at his best, guy. This man is us caught. Hi, so you have a set of Zeo bibs on the stand. We have a set on this 6155 hour. Um, 71060, 38, 660, 28. Fantastic James, tire. What is the difference between the Zeo bib and the my or the Axio bib? Axios high horsepower tractor, 200 plus horsepower. This is for your, your standard tractor. Uh, it's a slimmer bar. You'll see the lug on it. Okay. 
to a slimmer lug, which yes. penetrates the ground easier. I mean, this tyre can run down as low as 6 PSI, still run at 65K. But as the Axial bib that we would have had before and the 315 that we had, because that's for higher horsepower, does it maybe need more weight to it, get it? It needs the weight to right. work. Okay. This tractor wouldn't work on Axial bibs. Well, we're thinking about a 70 at 10 John Deere, and she's currently on Good gear up to tracks. Yes. 7, 10, 70. 38. 38. Okay. On the front. So we were thinking uh, you'd be looking at a 7, 10, 60, 42 maybe because we'd have to get rims made anyway, wouldn't we, James? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the 7, 10, 60, 42 will pitch in just around, around the same rolling circumference. Uh -huh. Is that 7, 10, yeah, 70? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 38. Well, see, the tractor is around that 200 horsepower tractor, I suppose 185 standard, you know, so she's maybe not heavy enough to justify the whole... The axial bib? No, I don't think she has, I think you're... If you I... look at the lug of an axial bib, there's an axial bib over there. See the heavier lug? Yeah. Yes. And they tend to sit on top of the ground, they don't penetrate. You see the thickness of that lug there? Yes. Yeah, Don't James, you. aye. So you're meaning you need the weight to get that down to do the work? Yeah, yeah. James! Hey, James, you know how to pull the punters into a stand, sir. <laughs> well, I had to do that something. Old, old school there, boy. Huh? I have never in my life... That's definitely the first that, I've seen one of them. A 48-40. You would never take notice of a Massey before. Okay. I, would take I had to do something drastic to get <laughs> you to would take open notice. your eyes and look. <laughs> I would take notice of that one. 48-40. And four and ace, 950-42. I see that. Uh, I, Mac, Mac X. X bib. Mm -hmm. See all these different... So what's the Mac X bib range then? Is that sort of for your... That's 200 horse plus, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a big set of boots there, boys. <laughs> Connor, could we get them shoehorned onto the fast track? <laughs> <laughs> we could try it. Have you got an, have you got an angle, Gunnar? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful track. That's restored to... That's restored to perfection, isn't it? That's everything. What type of engine's in that, baby? Uh, you would know better than me now, Gary. Uh, Commons. Big Commons, is it? Uh, a big V8 nine Commons. But there's no turbos on her. No, straight. <clears throat> She's straight. 250 or 70 or something horse. Imagine you knocked a couple of big holes at her Garrett turbos under that thing. <laughs> I should break it's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> you still a couple of old masses, Jim? Hi, I have the baby brawler. 1250. The 1250. Yeah. The very famous 1250. Every magazine in the country with that 1250. Oh, don't talk about that. <laughs> don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get the tape piece of these tyres down a bit, boy. <laughs> Is she still pleasing you? Oh, aye. She's some baby now. Yeah. Lethal. Aye, lethal. lethal. She doesn't get that much hard work now, but... And you've borrowed this for the show, then? Aye, that's James Curry's. It's... And he... He has done that tractor from the inside out. I mean, it's Must better be. than it came out of the factory. I oh, would it say. would be, Jim. Nut and bolt that job, that, hasn't it, Jim? Sorry? It's a nut and bolt job, uh, that. Absolutely. You look looking around the guts of it there, it's amazing. Yeah. You see these things over here, James? Are you have these road this. Now, are. There's a 315, a bit like what we had for the year, running around with a similar set. Maybe you sold them yeah. to that. I think that, it's the same. That's the same man. The same oh, guy. Right, okay. Yeah. Same uh, what, What's the story here? Now, look. I personally think they look class, but I would be scared to take that into a field. Am I right to be scared? Or are they purely for road work or what, you know? Because you, you're putting a few of them out, because we see in your social media all the time, in your Facebook page and stuff, that there's there's plenty of sets going out, but it's just weird, it's strange. It's strange well, if you get what I'm coming mm -hmm. from, we're not used looking at that. Well, we sold them purely for a road tire, but we're quite amazed at the amount of people that are starting to use them in the fields. And you know what, they are working now in a potato field in the heart of the winter. <laughs> <laughs> That's to be tested yet. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. as it stands, people are using them in the fields and there's no complaints yet. They're extremely smooth, extremely durable, and I think they will catch on now. Like as tractors are doing more and more road work, you know, heavy haulage, you know, with these bigger tractors like it's... <clears throat> Tractors are going faster and heavier, yeah, yeah. longer distances. Yeah. I mean, this 
customer here runs a massive tanker on the That's roads right, yeah, and, yeah, and it's it. perfectly suited. He's saying they're very smooth but they're very stable. Yeah. He had issues with his last tires, you know. Oh, a tire road. Yeah. Uh, that looks like <clears throat> it would be as sturdy as houses. Aye. We see just over the shoulder here, James. This is a new tire you've took on. Yeah, this is see it. It's new, relatively new onto the market. We're selling now about two and a half, three years. And uh, so far performing very well. It was sort of a tire we brought in to fit that middle market. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very pleasing to look at. It's a yeah, good start. Nice looking tire, yeah. Um, you know, a lot of the classic men love this tire because it's nice, smooth look to it, no big bold writing on it. Uh, when you get into the 65, 70 series, it's a nice flat uh, profile nice, on yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's very smooth in the road. Um, some of the cheaper tyres, as you've mentioned there, uh, would be quite aggressive in grassland. So far this is, uh, has got some really good uh, feedback on it, where it's nice over the ground, doesn't tend to dig up the ground. And I, When I met, I met you, when was it, a couple of years ago down at Michael Hoy's Open Day, uh -huh. and um, see it was a brand that you were taking on, you were looking at, uh, at that time, a distribution throughout the whole of Ireland and you were planning to move more into the south with the Seat brand. Mm -hmm. That did that go that went ahead because you've now got Lusk tires as well, am I right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. We've Lusk and Ed here. Ed Ed Burn, he looks after the operation down there and does a great job. Um so he'll maybe tell you something about what's going on down there. So we we've been setting up a uh we've been setting up a distribution for trying to get a key dealer in every county, as you know and uh, we've got a dis distribution uh, warehouse in Lusk at the moment that we're opening up on the 1st of July um, and our plan is basically we're trying to get a key dealer in each county that will sell uh, Sia tyres and uh, it'll give them a real opportunity, you know, one man in each county, give them a real opportunity to make a real go at the tyre and uh, we find the tyre a fantastic tyre, you know, we really, anyone that we've sold them to, we're selling them what James, two and a half years now? Yeah. And everyone who sold it to absolutely loves them, uh, they're fantastic feedback for road work they're very good on the land, uh, just everything about them, you know, Doc, you're a really, really good tyre. Have you any have you any, any tractors here with them fitted? Do we get a look what this look like on a tractor? Yeah, I think we do, yeah, we've got Massey. Massey? Oh, right. well, oh we'll show us that Massey, James. Here, well, 5480, aye, she's... Punchy wee baby. She's got 50, 50, 65, oh, funny, I think I know the age that owns that too. We'll not get into that, though. <laughs> <laughs> They do look, they do set nice on. Nice tyre here, aren't they? Yeah. They're great, yeah, they're a great tyre. They're, they're the foot, they're one, of the, one of the nice things about it is it's a full width tyre, you know. If it says it's 650, it's, you take a tape and you measure that, it's fully 650 across the flats. You put that in the ground, then you're getting a little bit extra on, of, uh, of uh, footprint on the ground again. And as uh, see it across the range, you know, is it just Tractors, I see like there's obviously trailer wheels here or something. Ah, yeah, so the great range of tractor, obviously. Uh, we have good range of flotations as well. There's some crossplay stuff that we have. Um, you know, they're ever expanding their range, you know, and they're they're trying to find out what we what we need in the market, and they're working with us, so it's uh, it's going well, you know. So, James, thanks for uh, chatting to us. Um, I see the boys all on the stand here. Are you as busy as ever? Because we go way back and you've always been flat out around here. Aye, it's always a busy time of the year with current stuff going on. Things have been a wee bit uh, erratic. Uh, ground conditions are very dry, so yeah, um, people don't really need 100% yeah. rubber these days. <laughs> um, but we're thankful to God to be as busy as we are, you know. Yeah, must And uh, one of those businesses that can keep running and plenty of businesses that are really struggling these days. But suppose we've talked all things agri, and uh, I suppose we have a great interest in everything, that really, you know, tyres, tyre technology, but I see Paddy lying over in the corner there sunning himself, but... <laughs> but I, I have noticed this on social... I've never actually seen it on social media. You have, like, got the crane, and, you know, you are working with a full range of industrial-type tyres as well. Yeah, we do the full range. We service, you know, a lot of the local companies, the quarrying and there's like Tubbermore concrete, all these forklift solids and yeah, yeah, yeah. a vast range of stuff. And, and then we go into the agro-industrial tyre, which are these handler tyres. And uh, people are very interested in the patterns of these nowadays um, because more and more they're going towards the more industrial 
pattern tire. That is right. Well, we get a wee, we get a wee set off you for the Merlot back in the yard a few yeah. years ago. Um, is there more stability with them, James? That pattern there, there would there? be more stability. Uh, Probably a compromise in wet conditions in a field, but a handler's only going to do so much in a field anyway. Um, that one that Davy's slouching up against there is a Trelleborg TH400, and this is Trelleborg's TH500, the industrial version they Ed's at. Yeah. I remember Still. when I was last about, um, with a big conversation, you brought in a pile of uh, good years just before the whole good year thing changed a bit for like vintage tractors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're still bringing in those vintage tyres. Sadly, the, the factory in France closed, so no more radial tyres as we knew, knew them. Yes. But the vintage tyre, we have it in all the popular size, and it's still very popular for that old stuff, you know. Yeah, have one you, there, because I see a man leaning up against. He leans up against that same tyre at every show. Aye, that's all he does. <laughs> <laughs> this, this tyre here, don't you, is a great challenge. <laughs> so there you, you stick with the seals, that's for your, that's for your needed. <laughs> That's for, that's, that's for Alistair's technical. No hope. That's for my technical, and that's comes in. And after that, it's very limited. Uh, right, and then there's a man down here who likes to take a photograph, but I'm not going to say anything about him in case he slaps me for he'd be, known, he'd, be known, he'd be known as strong. He could give you a wrestle and use them tires. Just when we're standing there, that's the Mitchell XMCL, the, 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 really the market leader and the benchmark for handler tires, you know. And um, the then Kleber, that's a new product, the Kleber Handler Tire, oh, which is out right. of the same stable, yeah, yeah. made in France. It's uh, a nice looking tire. The Kleber, nice. you still sell a good few Klebers, James? Sell a lot of Klebers. It's so popular, donkey, uh, and all that mid range and high range stuff. It's, it's just, it's, it's a sharp so look, well. It's a sharp good looking tire. They're a good all round tire. Yep. This one that Andy's at is the Michelin Industrial Tire. A I've seen a few of these about now, Jim. And it's got very popular around the country. It's it's probably doing 30% more wear. Uh, it's a tire that runs very smooth, very puncture resistant, and popular tire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, look, James, I think us boys, we maybe better get back to our stand. So thanks for taking a bit of time. Do you want tea? We'll take a couple. No, I will. Look, my mummy always taught me never refuse tea in her money. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll take a wee cup of tea, James. That's what we come for. And uh, as I say... Aye, let's talk about that, those well, Zia bibs. Fact. Sure, whenever you get back from the show, get settled down, so you can yeah. give us a ring. That'd be yeah. great. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for calling around, boys. Thanks, James. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.